to the seventh episode of the Dukes Academy podcast. On today's show, we have an interview with Mr. Sali, a featured track from the Year Eight Girls, the usual news and announcements, and a riddle for today's competition. So let's get into it as we get to know your teachers. Get to know your teachers. Yeah. For our first question: What influenced you into teaching science? Um, what influenced me to become a science teacher? I, I don't know why I'm a science teacher. I wanted to be a maths teacher. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> obviously, my teachers, first and foremost, um, was really fortunate in that I had really good science teachers. Um, I've always had a bit of a love for science and a, a yearning, a hunger for it. And I've always um, enjoyed it as a result of that, uh, as a young student anyway. Went to the Hayden Planetarium in New York when I was 11, and that was life-changing, totally life-changing. Watched the most amazing uh, documentary narrated by Morgan Freeman in the most amazing the- uh, IMAX theatre you could imagine. Um, so that was totally life-changing. But I love science as a tool for understanding um, the universe, this amazing place that we find ourselves in. Um, I love how well it serves us technologically, but also spiritually, for me personally at least. Um, sure, science can't answer some questions, but it can answer quite a few of them. Um, it can't really give us the why, you know, but uh, yet, maybe one day, I don't know. Um, it informs us about the universe and our place within it, and some say that it sucks the life out of everything and makes it all black and white instead of, you know, the beautiful rainbow that it is, but I, I really feel it does the opposite. Um, I think it explains the beauty and for me personally it adds to the mystery I don't know whenever I learn something I have more questions not not less questions so yeah there's that one a little birdie told me that you are a lifeguard have you saved anyone's life or do you have any funny experiences to share Uh, I was never a lifeguard Uh, I've been a swimming coach for almost 12 years now Um, I've done some life saving along the way uh, though and it's come in handy many times uh, there's been a time where I had to resuscitate someone on the beach that was the only time I've had to actually use CPR um, there's been a time when my uh, an older swimming teacher who actually taught me to swim fainted and fell into the water and we had to well I had to rescue him I was the only one nearby not too many funny experiences I guess like okay the odd fun like me jumping in to save someone and my shorts aren't tied up properly so here I am trying to save someone and also pull my shorts back up at the same time. Who is your favourite scientist and why? By far it has to be Albert Einstein. The guy's just got way too many good quotes that echo all around for him to not be top of my list. Uh, Not to mention his really, really trippy power of imagination. Um, Yeah, just so many Albert Einstein quotes. I can't even begin to, to, to list them. That, you know the echo on a daily basis for me so I think for that reason it has to be a for our final question there's an alien invasion what are the first three items that you bring with you and why alien invasion think about this one on a daily basis um, I'm gonna take my multi tool which is like my Swiss army knife with loads of different tools in it uh, a good pair of shoes probably my hiking boots best pair of shoes I got um, and my dog's rope that we use for tug of war Of course the dog's coming, but he's not really an item to me, so he doesn't count as one of my three. Um, So yeah, those those three things most likely. Wouldn't take a car, you'd be stuck in traffic trying to get out. Um, Wouldn't take any, yeah, just multi-tool, good pair of shoes, dog's rope, done. Maybe his leash, I don't know. Thank you for participating in the interview. Now on to our featured track. Today's featured track is titled, Everything Nice, performed by the Year 8 Girls. Everything nice, everything spice, ayy, everything nice, everything spice, ayy, everything nice, everything spice, ayy, everything nice, everything spice. Keep it focused, keep it cool, gotta keep it light when we're in school, walking these walls like a queen, get to know me, cause I'm seen. Monday to Friday, repping jukes, 24 7, teaching you. This how I feel, this what I do, you're gonna know me when I come through. To the left, to the right. Up and down and to the side. To the left and to the right. Up and down and to the side. Everything nice, everything spice, ayy, everything nice. Everything spice, ayy, everything nice. Everything spice, ayy, everything nice. Everything spice. Now let's get on to our news and announcements.
next week, Year 10s are going to have their work experience. Best of luck to all of you! In the race for house points, we have Wallace with 3,937, Adkins on 4,186, Tarl in second with 4,436, and out in the lead, we have our new champions, Burn, with 4,565! And the weather for next week is... No surprise, it's raining. Now on to the competition. It's competition time! Ooh. For this episode's competition riddle is, what can you put in a box to make it lighter? Send your answer to our dedicated email musicpodcast at dukesacademy.org.uk to win a delicious prize. Thank you for joining us on the seventh episode of the Dukes Academy podcast. We hope to see you next time.